welcome back to another vlog. It is 2.55 in the morning right now. 2.56. And this little girl wanna be up. So being that I'm up, I was like, I might as well do a little video. So hey, we're gonna have a little chit chat, y'all. What you wanna talk about tonight? What you wanna talk about? <laughs> Why she look at y'all like that? Like, Let's talk about some things that I learned in my pregnancy the most important thing I had to learn in my pregnancy was to not compare my pregnancy to anyone else's y'all. I think I struggled so much with that, especially in the beginning. Actually, most of my pregnancy, I felt like I was comparing myself a lot to like the other woman. I was in this pregnancy support group. If you guys haven't been watching like my previous vlog, I talk about it a lot in my previous vlog, but I was in like the support group with like eight other women and we were all like pretty much like one or two weeks apart from each other. We were all pretty much going through our journeys together. Some of us was first time moms. I think it was like two or three women. This was like their second kid. We would go into these sessions like every month or every two weeks after a while and we would talk about you know what's going on in our pregnancy our first symptoms and just everything we just have like to go talk I think I was like 16 17 weeks I remember going to one of my sessions and a lot of the women it was like they felt their babies kicking and they felt movement and all this stuff and I was like what y'all felt moving and at that time I had not felt any kicks at all I remember just feeling so sad about it like dang why what am I doing wrong like why am I not feeling my baby kick like what the heck like is there something wrong with me y'all and I literally went home and I researched well, I know you ain't laughing I really like searched why isn't my baby kicking like what could be wrong I think like a week or two later that's literally when she started kicking. Your experience may or may not be similar to other women, but don't time and don't compare your pregnancy to anybody else because you're literally just gonna take away your joy of being pregnant. Everything that happens in your pregnancy is exclusive to you. Not one pregnancy is exactly the same as someone else. You are really gonna cheat yourself out of an amazing experience if you spend your time comparing yourself to other women's pregnancies just enjoy the moment and enjoy the process y'all just enjoy the process another one you guys and this is something that i started to do like later on in my pregnancy i wish i did it a little bit earlier on but i just felt like i wasn't showing enough so i really didn't do it and that was to just take more pictures you guys get dressed up dress your bump and take pictures you guys but it's just such an amazing experience just to see your baby growing you are literally gonna blink and the baby's gonna be here before you know it so really just enjoy the moments another one you guys and this is something that i had no problem doing and it was asking a whole bunch of questions y'all i'm telling y'all i think them doctors probably was getting tired of me but i was asking so many questions if you're feeling unsure about something and you have questions or you want to just get seen by the doctor y'all go and get seen by the doctor call your doctor up or go in there and go see them i always felt like it was i'm better safe than sorry so i don't care if i'm annoying you even even though like, they don't take it as annoying like, i think i went to labor and delivery like three times and every time i went in it was like girl it ain't nothing wrong with you <laughs> I was good, but I didn't care. I was just like, I'd rather be safe than sorry. Y'all baby be doing this like when it's time for her to eat. Like she literally would lean all the way back. Like she's trying to get extra comfortable while eating. And just like, girl, sit up. You should not be laying back this far while eating. If you guys care, I cared about it. And this is something, it's so crazy, y'all, because it's so much stuff that goes on in your pregnancy that sometimes like little things slip your mind. I thought that I had got my genetic testing done like in my second trimester. I think what happened with me was I got confused with the gestational diabetes stuff and all the testing I was doing with that, that in my mind, I thought I had did my genetic testing and I never did. So last minute, I was trying to get all this genetic testing done, you guys. So if you care, and I know some people, they like, they don't care, they don't, baby, they don't care for, to know the genetics and all of that other stuff. And, test for it but if you do care you can get your genetic testing done early after you your second trimester she playing with this milk she didn't drink she put a little of an ounce another thing that i wish i did more of during my during my pregnancy you guys was exercise more i felt like y'all the moment i got pregnant i literally turned into just a lazy fat 
really slob like i literally just stopped exercising as much as i was prior to getting pregnant i was literally eating all the food i wanted to eat like i just i just used my pregnancy as like an excuse to just eat whatever i want and do whatever i want because i because i was pregnant throughout my pregnancy yeah i gained 22 pounds if i get pregnant again i would want to be in my best shape like work out eat right before i get pregnant because i think that's also important to make sure that you are healthy before you even you know try to have a baby and drink lots of water you guys drink lots of water like you may think you're drinking enough water but you are never drinking enough water it's like you almost gotta drink like double or triple the amount you would normally drink another thing you guys and this work hand in hand with just exercising and eating right make sure you are taking your prenatal vitamins you guys truthfully if you are planning on having a baby it's good to start taking your prenatal before you even get pregnant that's what my doctor had recommended to me you guys um she knew we was trying to get pregnant she was like are you taking prenatals and i was like no and i think i started taking prenatal prenatals like two months before i got pregnant you guys so definitely take your prenatal do not skip no days and that's pretty much it i would just say going back to the beginning you guys don't freak out about every little thing just go and simply get checked out like don't sit around stressing stressing your brain out about something if you feel like something is off if something is wrong contact your doctor the doctor they are professionals you guys but don't take the, their word as bond like they're 100 percent right it's gonna be this get second third fourth fifth opinions you guys try to do that beforehand and try not to wait too late sometimes hearing like your percentile like oh my baby's in the 95 percentile they're gonna be okay oh my baby's in a 10 percentile they're gonna be sick what am i doing wrong that's, that's another thing don't blame yourself sometimes things just happen and it's literally out of your control i remember when um when they were telling me that my baby had this small i was literally like breaking that broke down crying to um, my midwife and i was like oh my god like what am i doing wrong like what can i do to fix this like y'all i had a whole meltdown you know how you just like have all these emotions inside you and then as soon as somebody asks you something you just say <laughs> literally that's what i did and it was so bad like, i could not stop crying my midwife was like there's literally nothing you can do she said it's out of your control like there's nothing you can do and i just felt so freaking hopeless at that point so um definitely don't beat yourself up too much sometimes things are hereditary sometimes things just happen you know what i mean um and sometimes the doctors are wrong pregnancy y'all is such a beautiful thing like i said i really really do miss being pregnant i'm probably gonna be pregnant again soon and i wouldn't change it for the world you guys because i got my beautiful baby girl I got my beautiful baby girl right here you guys so it was all worth it it was all worth it for sure um but i just i've just learned so much throughout this pregnancy you guys i probably forgot a few things y'all comment down below some things that you've learned throughout your pregnancy something that you wish you would have done differently or anything to help a new mom out or oh 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 oh, oh. let's fellowship down below you guys but i'm about to try to put baby girl to sleep hopefully she goes to sleep are you gonna go to sleep I ain't gonna go to sleep. I ain't gonna go to sleep. She like, absolutely not. Absolutely not, mom. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in my next one. Hey, peace. Peace.